32. I'm working in the prop department at Warner Brothers, and I'm assigned to the Michael Curtiz film 20,000 Years in Sing Sing. One day, I'm in the warden's office set. I'm adjusting the uh, office lamp. And I look up, and I lock eyes with Miss Betty Davis. And let me tell you something. The way she was looking back at me, I knew things were about to get dirty. Now, I knew she was married, and as a general rule, I never mess around with married women. But the young woman I had been keeping company with at that time had just been arrested for what I later found out were multiple violations of the Man Act. So Betty kind of caught me on the rebound. I can honestly say that those six weeks with Betty were among the best times of my life. She taught me how to knit, how to appreciate Indian food, and the sweet, sweet science of pegging. It was about seven and a half inches long and about an inch in circumference. It was carved from the finest mahogany and heavily lacquered, which was necessary because you don't really want to get splinters up in there. And the straps were tanned leather with the initials BD studded in rhinestones. As an object of art, it was beautiful. As a provider of anal sensations, it was exquisite. One night, Bet and I went to Elysian Park for some kiss, kiss, bang, bang. And who do we find in our spot where we're planning to do our filthy business but Joan Crawford literally put in the wood to Clark Gable. Joan saw Bet out of the corner of her eye and hissed at her like an adder, effectively killing the mood for the night. Frankly, I'm surprised Ryan Murphy didn't put that scene into feud. Oh, don't look so shocked, young man. Your generation didn't invent kink. You were just the first to share it on iPhones. Anyway, it was a glorious time, but all good things, etc., etc. The studio caught wind of our anal-laced shenanigans and ordered Bet to put an end to it. They were fine with her getting a little on the side, but they drew the line at below the line. But it was okay. Bet and I remained friends. We kept in contact over the years, letters, phone calls, quick one-night thing in the mid-fifties. And when she passed on in 1989, she left me her strap-on in her will. And to this day, it sits in a place of honor in my office. Yes, I, I think they cleaned it before they sent it to me.